When the wrongs of racism done to many of the Windrush generation were acknowledged and apologies offered, a compensation scheme was set up. That was five years ago, yet most of those who've made claims are still waiting. Now, on the 75th anniversary of the Windrush's arrival, the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, has told us they were treated shamefully, but she didn't apologise for the delay. Fitzroy Maynard still lives with the pain of a life destroyed by the Windrush scandal. From years of homelessness to a home not fit to live in. A British citizen stripped of his rights and wrongly classed as an illegal immigrant and treated as if he didn't exist. It made me have to beg. It made me eat people leftovers. I'm just walking the street. I'm thirsty. I don't know what to do. 2008 to 2009 was the worst time of my life. The scars of trauma still etched on his face. He says the government's scheme to right the wrongs of the past is still failing. Fitzroy has been offered compensation, but he says it barely touches the sides of a life lived on the streets where he was left destitute. They don't seem like they want to give you the full amount. They say it, they're going to, but they're not. The first of the Windrush generation arrived in England 75 years ago as British citizens, many from the Caribbean who came over the next few decades to rebuild Britain after the war, only to be later classed as illegal immigrants, which affected generations of families. In 2019, the government began a scheme to compensate them, Four years on, latest figures show only a quarter of claimants have received payment. Under pressure from criticism of the scheme itself, the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, defended it. Let's talk about the application process, which people say is so complex and so bureaucratic that some people have just simply given up, others aren't even trying, some have died waiting for a decision, while many others have lost jobs, homes, been left destitute, others have been detained and deported. Um, would you like to take this opportunity to apologise to them? Well, what I would say is that actually we have simplified the application process. We've made big changes to the claim form, for example, to make it simpler and easier to use. We showed our interview to Fitzroy. I think she was wrong and she should have apologised. How long do you need to wait? I cannot wait forever. I've got my daughter to look after. Lawyers acting for many claimants say the scheme should now be taken out of the Home Office's hands. And there's a callous disregard for the issues that's been raised by lawyers like myself and community activists and claimants themselves. Then we're not being taken seriously. And I think that's one of the reasons why this is running on and why people like me think institutional racism is at play. The Home Secretary rejected that and calls for the scheme to be removed from her department. Well, I feel this issue very keenly, very personally, very powerfully in my heart and I've really wanted to work closely with members of the working group so that we do uh, right the wrongs. For Fitzroy, the anguish of the past still looms large as he waits for the justice he believes he deserves. Sejal Karia, News at 10.